Alright everybody, welcome back to Bond Barbecue and Southern Cooking. As you can see, we got two little birds here. Whole chickens, they ain't too awful big. Got some injectable marinade, butter marinade, some roasted chicken, some beer and some holders. We're going to do some beer canned chicken here today. First thing I want to do though is get these things injected up good. Got my nice injector I got off of Amazon last Christmas. This thing holds a lot of inject. Oh, this ain't too big. We'll start back here. Oh, not a lot of meat on them either. Oh man, there ain't much meat on these. Go up under this way. There we go. Alright, there's the first one. Let's go ahead and get this second one done real quick. I'm not the best at disinjecting, so. These chicken don't feel like they got too much meat on them. Mm -mm. Enough of the injecting. Let me put this over here. We'll move that out the way. A little bit of our rub some chicken on it. Yeah, some chicken. I could put a little spray on it. Maybe I should. Where's my uh, Robbie, your chicken? Uh, there we go. Spray a little bit of Pam on them for. Help the season stick to it. I'm going to put some down in the cavity too. <laughs> As usual, if you're handling poultry, poultry, you know, make sure you got some gloves on. Don't want to get no salmonella or get sick or anything like that from it. Under the wing, cover it as good as you can. All right, we're set for right now. We're gonna let these sit here and rest for a little while. Finish uh, soaking up some of that. Injecting sauce with butter sauce in it. I'm gonna go get the master belt fired up because we gonna smoke these. Ain't done any smoking in a while, folks, so we are today. And I'm gonna do both of them on it. We're gonna go get it fired up and we'll be right back. All right, everybody, time to get these things ready. Master belt's fired up. Got some apple and cherry wood on there. Those fruit woods always go good with some chicken. We got some Budweiser. You don't want to use the whole thing, so you gotta pour it down the sink. Now. Ah, that Budweiser's nasty. <laughs> Pour out part of it. Let me, get, let me get my other rubber on here. Can I help? Nope. All right, let's see if we can get this done, folks. Chicken scooted over. Put the beer can there. 
Bear up this way. Open the chicken's butt up. <laughs> That's a big one. I think my chicken's too small. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. All right. All right. Let me get the other one on here real quick. We'll be right back, folks. All right, everybody. Welcome back. Let me see. Got the chickens ready. Look at what I got. I got the eye grill too now. We're gonna use that tonight. Only got the one with two probes in it, but that's all I need. So, ooh, that apple and cherry woods is going. Whoa, that is a lot of steam. Uh, As we like to call it, ooh, the smoke smoke. Pull that out a little bit. Get the first chicken set on here. Oh. You want this from the hands? Get the second chicken sit on here. All right. And now let's get probes. Come on, let's open here. Thanks for the probes. And I'm just going to do mainly the breaths on these. Want it too far down. There we go. Get them pushed back up in there. And get it smoking. And now let's get the other iPhone out. That's what I like about this one over the mini one. Is you just turn it on and it turns on and you know when it's off. I got both probes in it. And I think I got both probes in it, right? Okay. Turn the eye grill app on. I'm going to start grilling. What am I grilling? Pork poultry. Uh, chicken breast. That's where I got it set. Yeah, it 165 degrees. We'll start. Did not hook up to it. Yeah, that's Bluetooth. Start grilling. Got it. Nope. You got both of them connected. You see, folks. It's hard to see out here. About 168, 169, or 69, and they're going. All right, we'll monitor till we get up to temp, and then we'll eat some beer can chicken. See you folks later. All right, guys, look at here. Been cooking. Hopefully, dog won't interrupt me again. Got her set for 165. Oh, get in focus. 165 for the breasts. See it 133 and one, 134 and the other. Tells you, you get a full chart, temps up the side, red line shows you where you're going to, amount of time we've been doing. Got the second probe, same thing. So I love the eye grill, especially this new one. Only takes double A's instead of those super expensive little watch batteries, and this one should last a lot longer. So, I was cooking them at 240, I just turned it up to 250. Getting a little dark outside, so we're trying to go ahead and get them running a little bit quicker. Take a peek at them, they're looking good. You guys are gonna like this. We'll see you when we get done and bring them in. All right, folks, chicken reach the temp. We're inside now. Beer can still stuck up the chicken's butt. <laughs> We're gonna let them cool down a little bit. Mom's fixing some taters and some other things here. And those look pretty good, smell pretty good. First time I've done a beer can chicken, so. Hey, how you doing? Oh, ah, no, that's hot. Yep, I think we got her cooked up good, folks. Get ready to slice her up here in a few minutes. All right, folks, welcome back. Look at these beautiful looking 
beer can chicken's hip. Let's see if we can get one off. Oh, there we go. Let's put it that way. Hi, Dad. Let's see. Oh, my little one's here. She's hungry. Took longer than I thought. I'm getting late, but mm -hmm. it's time change, so it ain't gonna matter much. Tomorrow when it's going to be 8, it's actually going to be 7. Tomorrow when it's supposed to be 7, it's going to be 6. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure where I'm cutting this at, but... First time I've done a chicken, folks. <laughs> a whole chicken. There we go. Oh, let me grab a plate here real quick so we can throw some of this on. We'll be right back. For the main tester. Alright, we got the leg off. And I got my main tester here. She wanted to try first. Come here. It's not super hot. Give it a try. Yummy! There we go. Alright, let's see. Let's get some of these legs off of here. I'll put my glove back on. Oh, look at that juice just coming out of there, guys. Oh, and it's just falling apart. That skin is nice and crisp. And Ellie wanted some of the belly. The belly. Oh, folks, look at that. Juice just coming out of it. I could have cooked a little bit higher. Yep, that skin is nice and tender. Oh, that is, oh, folks, that's, all right, let me take this glove off here. Hold on, that's hot, bug. Woo! <laughs> well, like first beer can chicken, I think I did pretty good. Should have cooked it a little bit hotter when I first started. Oh, well, it's too late. But, oh, well, it's too late. All I know is all the chicken insides, nice and tender. Let's see, we got some more. More, I want more. Mm. Let me see a little piece right there. Hold on. All right, feel it. See if it's hot or not. There's some little chickens. They didn't have a lot. Of, let's see what it is. Sunbury went through. Oh man, guys. Wow. If you were here, you would want to eat it. Oh, I'm going to destroy this thing. Destroy. Oh, they're just pulling apart. Oh, there's some more breast. Oh, that one's got too much bone in it. Well, they're little. Those things are little. Oh, yeah, no chickens that were good. Oh, yeah, we got two of them. Let's see what we can salvage from this. Chicken wing. Alright folks, this is hot. When we finish cutting it up, we'll be back to show you the finished end product. Alright folks, look at there. A little some skinny chicken, but we got enough meat for dinner. We got baked potatoes going. So look at these baked potatoes mama made tonight. Huge. I should have smoked them. Them are huge. Yeah, and look at the one that's crinkly. Of course, my phone's upside down, so I'm going to change the picture around, but... That's okay. All right. Time to eat. And go to coma. Food coma time. See you next time, folks. <laughs>